Do you ever look at celebrities and wonder how do they always look so perfect on camera or in pictures? Well, today I'm going to look at one of my favourite celebrities, Selena Gomez, and her diet and her exercise routine. Hi, my name is Sorsa and I'm a nutritionist and ballet fitness instructor from Ireland. If you don't know who Selena Gomez, then where have you been? <laughs> she's an actress, she's a singer, she's a trained dancer and she's also a producer and an advocate for mental health, especially body positivity. So I got Selena Gomez's body measurements off the internet, so they could be right, they could be wrong. But basically it says that she's five foot five, which is about five inches taller than me, and she weighs 59 kilos. So that weight could be right or wrong. Also, our weights don't stay the same all the time, but basically she is a healthy weight for her height. Looking at the what I eat in the days and what she's told people that she eats, she eats a pretty well-rounded diet. It's it looks great. So that's my opinion. Here is a few examples of the types of food that you would eat. But obviously a well-rounded diet kind of means you don't eat the same thing every day. But these, this is kind of an example. For breakfast, Selena Gomez likes to have half a burrito with chorizo, avocado, scrambled eggs, beans and rice. So this breakfast is packed full of nutrients. It's packed full of protein in the beans and the scrambled eggs. It has fiber from the beans, carbohydrate from the rice and the burrito itself. It also has healthy fats in the avocado and fats in the chorizo as well. Alternatively, she would have granola with full fat Greek yogurt. This is also a great breakfast that will keep her full for long. It, will ha it has fiber in the granola and protein and fat in the Greek yogurt. So once again, a really good breakfast. Then for lunch, she would have salad with avocado, turkey, beans, and a dressing made of olive oil, lemon juice, diesel mustard, and red wine. This is a really good lunch. It's low fat. You still get your healthy fats in the avocado, but um, generally low fat. It has protein in it from the turkey and the beans and fiber from the beans as well though. So it's still a really good breakfast. Oh, and healthy fats in the olive oil. For dinner, she would have a teriyaki bowl. So this was consist of Asian marinated cucumber, avocado, teriyaki sauce, rice, and either chicken or salmon. So if she opted for the chicken, it would be a more low fat dish. But she still get healthy fats from the avocado, which she seems to really like. Um, the salmon would give it a more healthy fats from the salmon. But generally, either would be good. Alternatively, she would have sushi, which is a great source of protein and great source of carbohydrate. And it's also one of my favorite dishes. So I love sushi. So it's great choice. She likes to snack as well. She likes Doritos with um, salsa dip, popcorn, pears and cucumbers, which are little small cucumbers. She also loves to drink green tea and she also likes to make sure she stays well hydrated throughout the day. So she drinks loads of water throughout the day, which is very important for everybody. So she has a really well balanced diet, in my opinion. She also loves ginger and ginger shots and she praises their medicinal health benefits. It's so good though if you let it like sit. How are you just being so cool about this? How you gotta you? Let... It's killing, think about it, it's killing everything inside. Oh great, yeah. <laughs> oh what a great way All to think about it. Thing. So quoting from that little clip, it's killing everything inside, it's killing all the bad things. Is that true? Well, ginger does have some proven health benefits, like it is an antioxidant and we know that antioxidants help with inflammation. So things that help with inflammation can help reduce the risk of getting chronic diseases like heart diseases, um, high blood pressure. Also, they help with premature aging and ginger is also known to help with digestive issues. 
Now for her physical activity or her workout routine, she is a very active person. So she works out three to five days when she's like regularly. And then when she's on tour, she could work out six to seven days, which is a lot. But she does things like focusing mostly on toning, stretching and cardio. So it covers all bases. Things like Pilates, yoga, jogging, dancing. They would be the kind of things she does. But she also does like to get her 10,000 steps in. So if you have like a Fitbit or a smartwatch, it's kind of cool when you look and see you've got your 10,000 steps in. It means you have been active throughout the day. In 2015, Selena Gomez did reveal that she had been diagnosed with lupus. Lupus is an autoimmune disease where your immune system attacks your organs. So it can be quite serious. And she did end up having to get a kidney transplant, which is also a very big thing to ha- happen to you. So she has her health issues, um, but she also deals with anxiety and depression as well. And she's been diagnosed with bipolar quite recently as well so she has her health issues but she does seem to be managing them quite well with her diet lifestyle and medication because diet and lifestyle helps a lot but sometimes you do need to take medication and that's not something that you should be worried about um so yeah it shows that just because she has this chronic illness she still can have an active lifestyle and she seems to enjoy her food. And I don't know her personally, obviously. No, so even though she has a really good balanced diet, she exercises. She recently got quite vocal about being body shamed on the internet. Now, a lot of celebrities do deal with and a lot of non-celebrities as well. And I think it's really unfair because when you are an actor or singer you're in the limelight a lot more and I don't think people people seem to think they have the right to comment on everything you do and it shouldn't be like that but she's specifically talking about people commenting on her jack-in-the-box order now we don't have that here in Ireland but it's like a fast food chain so she done a video on what she ordered and Here's the video. So I be trying to stay skinny, but I went to Jack in the Box and I got four tacos, three egg rolls, onion rings, and a spicy chicken sandwich. It's an average takeaway. It's, yeah, it's a lot of food, but it's not like she eats it every day. She has a good diet, a nutritious diet. She's active. So why... Because she's in the public eye, should people feel the right to comment on what she's eaten? Now, yeah, you could go out and say, well, she made a video about it, but still. So this is what she had to say about it. But honestly, I don't care about my weight because people bitch about it anyway. You're too small. You're too big. That doesn't fit. Me, 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 me. Bitch. I am perfect the way I am. Now, Now, as somebody in the public eye, you would be going to a lot of events and red carpet events. And Selena Gomez talked about how her styling team works with her to make her feel comfortable in what she's wearing. So they don't make her wear stuff that's in fashion. They work with her so she feels comfortable in what she's wearing on the red carpet, which is what we should all be doing. We should all be working towards getting clothes that make us feel comfortable. Well, this was also a moment in my life where I had fluctuated in weight. And I'm very honest with the people on my team. So I didn't want to wear anything tight. And then I tried this dress on and I felt so beautiful. A big thing a lot of people do when they want to lose weight is they give themselves a goal. A goal is great. I like to give myself goals as well. But when it comes to weight loss, I don't think that's a good idea for everybody. Maybe you could give a rough goal, but never, uh, I want to reach this weight by this time. You could say, I want to be, this is my goal weight, but don't give it a time limit. 
Another thing is you should maybe try not to weigh yourself all the time because everybody's weight does fluctuate. And Selena Gomez's trainer actually was quoted saying she doesn't weigh herself. She gauges like whether she's lost weight or gained weight by the fit of her clothes. So if a pair of jeans that she normally fits into really well start to get really, really tight, then she knows that she's put on weight and she can work towards losing it if she wants to. And another thing is, if you are, a lot of women do this, they, they choose an outfit, say a dress, there's a wedding coming up, you choose a dress, it's two sizes smaller than what you actually are at that present time. And you say, I'm going to lose the weight to fit into that dress. Don't do that. You should be getting clothes that fit you. Now, if you lose weight by the time the wedding is happening, then you can just get whatever it is taken in. But don't be putting yourself in a situation where you feel you have to lose X amount of weight in X amount of time because it's not good for your mental health. Personally, I think Selena Gomez is a really good celebrity uh, role model for healthy diet and lifestyle. Why? Because she eats a well-rounded, balanced diet. She enjoys her food. She's physically active when she can be. And she looks after all aspects of health. She looks after her physical health her men- and her mental health. So that's what we should be kind of aiming towards not these crazy celebrity diets where you only drink like celery juice for two weeks or eat watermelon like there is actually a diet called the watermelon diet where all you eat is watermelon for like three days i think it's supposed to clear you out um it'll make you very hungry (laughs) but those diets aren't good so that's why i think selena gomez is a great model and i think we should aim to be like Selena Gomez. Now, when I say like Selena Gomez, I don't mean eat like her exactly because that diet won't work for all of us. Personally, if I had her diet, I would not be well. Not because her diet's not healthy, but because I can't eat eggs, I can't eat avocados, and I definitely can't eat spicy food. And a lot of her foods are like Mexican style foods. So her diet wouldn't sit well with me. I just mean a well-rounded diet that has loads of different types of food in it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, also share, and please comment below what you think of Selena Gomez's diet and workout routine. And also if there's any other celebrities you'd like me to look at and, I don't know, review their diet and workout routines. And please check out my beginner's workout playlist it's got some short 5 to 15 minute workouts you can do at home for all abilities they work on toning on mobility on stretching a little bit of cardio in there as well so they would be great workouts to do to start off with also if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel